Hello everyone and welcome to GIR Golf and my name is Jim and welcome to today's exciting video new to golf golf clothing and equipment first of all I assume by watching this video you are new to golf and even if, even not if you're checking in for a refresher that's great but for those of you that are new to this great game welcome to the wonderful world of golf this is something I encourage you to get yourself involved in golf is a game that's been played for many centuries a game that is constantly growing uh, worldwide because of the values that, that it teaches, because of the uh, networking opportunities, the friendships, uh, the business relationships that, that can evolve from playing golf with somebody. You learn a lot about somebody when you play golf with them. Golf is a game that you can play at a high level uh, from the youngest, you know, at four, three, four years old, all the way up to 80, 90 years old, you can play this game at a high level. It gives so many opportunities. And uh, it's a game, really, for your life. So, perhaps I'm talking to those of you that maybe you're a youngster and you're just getting started in the game. This video is great for you. I'm gonna show you here today, on this first video, on the New to Golf series, uh, what our golf clothing uh, is supposed to look like. And talk about a little bit what's expected of us. So you show up to the golf course, you know, and you look the part, you know, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the golf equipment and, and uh, what to expect on there. I'll give you some tips, especially starting out. There's some things that I've learned and with me being a golf coach, helping other people when they first start, I'm going to give you a lot of, a lot of tips, save you some time, some money, some effort. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking so forward to this. Welcome to the wonderful world of golf. Let's talk about our golf clothing first. As we talk about what we are to wear to the golf course when we're playing, uh, there's two big keys. If you follow these two big keys, you will look the part, nobody will think anything of you. Key number one is no blue jeans. Don't show up to play golf in blue jeans. No blue jean pants, no blue jean shorts, no blue jean jackets. Wear something that is not denim, no denim. The second one, the big tip, is wear a collared shirt, one that has a collar, like this golf polo I have underneath this sweatshirt. You know, you don't have to have a fancy collar on your sweatshirt. You can just wear a regular sweatshirt if it's cold like it is here today, or a jacket, but underneath, have that collared shirt. You do those two things, and you won't get any weird looks, and you won't be denied access because of what you're wearing. Some courses are that strict. They see you show up in blue jeans, you know, they, they may not allow you to get on the golf course. Uh, it's very rare that they'll allow you with blue jeans to, to, to play on the golf course. Uh, additionally, don't show up in sweatpants. Uh, show up in some, you know, you know, cargo shorts if you have to. Something, uh, maybe some dress shorts. Uh, some, more, you know, these are little dressier pants. These actually are a golf designed uh, pant. You don't have to go that elaborate. But just main thing is don't show up in anything denim and have a collared shirt. You'll be well on your way. Let's talk about our shoes while we're talking about our clothing. You know, shoes, you're going to be outdoors. You're going to be on all different types of terrain. You want something that's, first of all, comfortable, something that your feet uh, won't get wet in. So at minimum, have a nice tennis shoe when you're out there. Uh, secondarily, if you have golf shoes, these modern golf shoes are really awesome. They are so comfortable. Uh, the shoe manufacturers have come a long way and understanding uh, us golfers as, as the sport grows and uh, what our needs are. You can see in my daughter's shoe right here, it's got these little rubber spikes, okay? Uh, mine, ooh, I can't really raise my foot up that high, uh, I'm not that flexible to show you, but mine, they actually don't even have those spikes and they just have a, a, a nice aggressive tread. My shoes here, if I clean them up a little bit and they're, they're so comfortable, I can just go to the restaurant, you know, with a modern golf shoe. Uh, while I got this shoe up here, additionally, I want to tell you something. You know, Grandpa gave you a pair of golf shoes and you're, you know, thinking about wearing them or, or Dad. Uh, they may have metal spikes in them. If you turn your shoe over and there's metal spikes in there, don't bring them to the golf course. Uh, the, again, the vast majority of golf courses, I'd say an extremely high amount, will have a sign up there that say no metal spikes allowed. And what that means is no metal spike shoes if you see that sign. So that's important to note. Now let's go over and talk about some of our equipment. Now as we move on to our golf equipment, you know, when you're first starting out, 
uh, you, first of all, don't spend fortune a fortune on golf clubs. Start out with a, a set at a yard sale, garage sale, go to the box store, buy one that's in a box. Don't go and just go crazy when you first are beginning. You know, there'll be a time for that, but that'd be down the road. You can play at a high level with a very modest set of golf clubs. A good item to have with you when you're new to golf uh, is make sure you have some sunscreen. Make sure you have some insect repellent. Uh, a golf glove is a good idea. If you are a right-handed golfer, then you put a glove on your left hand. If you are a left-handed golfer, you put a glove on your right hand. That may sound weird, just trust me. If you want to look the part, do that. Golf balls. Again, just like golf clubs, don't go spend a fortune and buy the most expensive golf ball on the shelf thinking that your golf game is just going to be vastly improved. It will not. Golf balls only make a difference for as you get uh, better. Uh, so when you're first starting out, buy a nice economical golf ball. You will lose them and, uh, and save yourself some money. Don't go and buy the most expensive golf ball. You will do just fine with a, with a modest uh, price golf ball. And then I've got golf tees here. You'll need some tees when you go out and play. These actually are plastic, which lasts a little longer if I remember to pick them up. You can uh, buy them uh, wood. And you can see they come in different lengths. This is three and a quarter. This red one's two and three quarters of an inch. And this is inch and a half. If you take these two away and you buy two and three quarter, which is the standard size, that should get you by just fine. Uh, me and my bag, I carry three different sizes for different reasons. But two and three quarter inch, when you see them on the shelf, that will do you just fine. This is a divot tool. Mine's a fancy. Uh, it's got, got a little switch blade, but a divot tool is very nice to have. Your buddies can explain to you on how to use it, but when, if you put a dent or an indentation on the, on the putting green, uh, good etiquette is you want to repair that. And uh, we'll try to get some videos on our channel down the road to show how to properly repair those divots. If you're not sure, ask a buddy that you're with. Okay, I've got a brush here. This brush actually hooks on my golf bag it allows me to clean my clubs when they is in golf you you hit the ground and you need to clean your clubs off along the lines of cleaning your golf clubs i've got a towel uh, that's designed to wipe my clubs off especially if it's wet outside and uh, the grass gets on there you want to wipe that off additionally i have an umbrella an umbrella is a good thing to have even if you're on a golf cart an umbrella is a good thing to bring with you uh, we, you know, as we discussed, don't go spend a fortune on your golf clubs when you're first starting out. Go and, and, and borrow somebody's, you know, get, get a feel for it. Do what you got to do to get out and enjoy this game, but don't break the bank. You don't have to, you know, and just get out there and have fun. Uh, along those lines, you know, golf, as you'll find, is a very difficult game. Yeah, but it also is a very re rewarding game. When you hit a good shot or make a great putt, it just does something to us that just wants us to keep coming back. And we tend to forget the eight or nine shots we just hit terrible. Uh, it is just a great sport that you're gonna love, but be patient with it. Remember, it is a game. Games are designed to, and meant for us to have fun. Have fun at the game and it will, it will be a lot more rewarding to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, push that subscribe button, that notification button because you want to be alerted and up and, and uh, notified when we continue videos in this series. I wish you the best. Welcome to the wonderful world of golf. And remember to smile often, have fun. God loves you. We'll see you next time.